Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's video newsletter. Well, we're going to talk about lean thinking. What is lean thinking? We're going to have a little look because if you are good at implementing lean, there is no question that you think completely differently to people that do not. Any factory that doesn't use lean, if you come up against a lean thinker, they are looking at your, your situation, your workplace, uh, the whole setup in a completely different way. Now, obviously, before we get into this, please click the button below, subscribe, uh, leave some comments. It's very good for the channel. Um, but let's get into the idea of lean thinking. Now, this has been, this has been prompted by a cartoon. I came across this cartoon on LinkedIn and here it is. And it's trying to make the point about the difference between normal, normal people and lean thinkers. So we have the, the optimist, the pessimist and the lean thinker. And the lean thinker is looking at the glass being half empty and thinking, why have we got all this space? And I looked at the cartoon and I thought, hmm, that's not what a lean thinker would be thinking. Um, it does make the point that lean thinkers look at the situation very differently. Now, I've got myself a glass here. Um, I put some milk in it. You can see it's a glass which is, in theory, it is half full. Um, it's... How would you describe this? The liquid fills half the container. The liquid fills half the container. But that doesn't mean it's half full or half empty because here's what a lean thinker would be thinking. What's the rule? What's the standard? How much should I have? And once you know how much you should have, then you know whether this is wasted space or not. Um, I mean, I've got a glass here. These are obviously beer glasses. And I've got a glass here, for instance, where they've chosen to put the line on the top to show me where the, um, the maximum is for this, for this pint glass. Um, but that's the kind of thing that lean is about. Now, this is 5S, by the way. This is 5S, and it is 5S that nobody seems to want to implement. Everybody thinks 5S is about sweeping up. Now that's the first three steps. But after that, it asks you to standardize. In other words, what a lean thinker would be thinking is, what's the rule? And then we will visualize the rule. And then actually, we'll know whether this glass is half full, half empty, or it's just being used. The space is just being used by a pull system and maybe that space is needed. Because by the way, if I've ordered a half from the bar, that empty piece of glass there is absolutely needed because when the half arrives, I want to tip it into that half empty glass. That's of course what's going on in your factory. You're constantly buying material, materials constantly coming into the factory. Am I expecting a delivery? Because if I am, that space is absolutely needed. So the lean thinker would be thinking, one, specify the rule. So okay, let's, let's do that. We're gonna specify the rule. Two, visualize the rule. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna change this. We're gonna visualize some rules on this glass. Okay, now I've just done 5S, by the way. I've just done step four of 5S, which is standardization. So now look, there's my glass. Hopefully you can see that. We have a maximum, we have a minimum. And typically what we would do is when we hit the minimum, we will order some more. So I've specified the standard. I've made the standard visual. Now I can use that to do continuous improvement. So if I decide I have spare space, yeah, okay, 
how are we going to use it? Are we going to get rid of it? Are we going to fill it full of machinery? Are we going to fill it full of other stock? What am I going to do with it? So for example, now on this glass, look where the maximum sits. I have, I have an inch at the top of this glass that I'm not going to use and I'm never going to use it because that's the rule. I'm going to order from the minimum to the maximum and I'm never going to go above the maximum. Now I'm thinking, what do I do with this? But if I look at the glass, is the glass half full or half empty? Well actually, it's close to being half empty isn't it? Because it's halfway between the maximum and the minimum. But the question is, have I got enough? Yeah, I've got more than enough. Do I need the space? Yes because I've got a maximum that's been calculated so that we can run the factory correctly. So now I can see the bit that I can get rid of. I can see the bit that I'm using. I have visualized the current status, which is perfectly okay. And now I'm not thinking like the optimist, the pessimist, or the lean thinker in this cartoon. Specify, visualize, and improve. That's the way lean thinkers would think about the glass being half empty. Now I've got a little example here just to show you what this might look like uh, on the shop floor and we can see from this photo look we've got the top of the green uh, for all of these um, simple blanks of sheet metal we have the green which is the maximum we have the yellow line which is the reorder point so what we're doing here we're, we're adding an extra color in here and an extra rule but we have the yellow which is the reorder point and then the red portion actually is a sort of a warning point because really we should never go into the red the red is a sign that maybe the order is late and we've put a little bit of safety stock at the bottom just in case that happens so we have a maximum, a reorder point, and a minimum warning level. And now we can do what the lean thinker was trying to do earlier in this little cartoon. Now we can think, why have I got too much space? Because now we don't even know, by the way, we don't even know what this, uh, this stocking system does, but we can already see there is too much space. This is the power of visualization, by the way. If this was SAP, you never see this in SAP. You can't see that you've got too much or not enough, or you're using more space than you really need because SAP will never order it. You will never see this, but this is lean. Lean works so much better because of the ability to constantly improve the rules. So let's take a look. At the top, look, we got a little bit of space there and you could be asking the question well that the green finishes a little bit early doesn't it so we have far too much space there could we get rid of that could we i don't know possibly um the one that's more obvious is right at the bottom look the the stock that's at the bottom number one of course we're making the the technician the operator we're making him bend right down to get this so from a workplace organization point of view a 5s perspective we're making him work much harder than maybe he needs to do but you can see look that the green finishes well before the size of these stocking areas and we could easily lose all of that space maybe bring the stock higher to make the task of stocking them and taking material away uh, much easier making the job faster by the way so we're saving time we save saving space and maybe we could use the space for something else who knows uh, what we might want to use that that space for um, but there's a little example and we don't even know what that area is but immediately we can look at that and we can challenge the design of that area we can ask that question that the lean thinker was asking why have we got this wasted space here because now i can see the wasted space because we have a standard in that little cartoon i appreciate it's designed to make you think and it certainly made me think it's designed to make you think about what lean really is about and how different someone who implements lean would think 
but actually it wasn't quite right. But when you see it done well, like this, you see the standard specified, visualized, and then you discuss improvements. Anybody could discuss improvements here. Anybody with lean thinking bouncing around their head would go up to that workspace and could challenge that area to do continuous improvement, to reduce the space that they're working in currently, and to free space up for other more valuable activities perhaps. That is lean thinking. Standardize, visualize, continuously improve. And by the way, that's 5S, that's world-class 5S. It hasn't got anything to do with sweeping brushes at all. Use lean properly, get lean thinking in your head, use 5S properly and make pots and pots of cash. I look forward to hearing from you again soon.